put on the steel armor gland onto our steel armor cable, first of all the shroud, put on in reverse, pull down, and we can just see there the difference in light between the top section and the bottom section. We make a cut there so the shroud taste stays nice and firm on our cable. Let's see what that looks like. Shroud goes on now, nice snug fit, and hopefully when we wave it doesn't fall off. Okay. Desired length we discussed earlier before the video about our steel armoured length compared to what we're terminated it into. Next we're going to take is junior hacksaw. Large steel armoured are a little bit easier using a senior hacksaw. You can make some really big strikes with the hacksaw. The smaller armoured are more difficult and unfortunately we're working with smaller armoured. Okay, so junior hacksaw. Going to try and go all the way around as circular as I possibly can. Difficult when it's the first attempt that you have, but nice and firmly into the steel we're armoured. We know what happens when we don't go in firmly. We find it very difficult to break those armourings away in the next stage. Okay. And I'm pressing quite firm. The trick is to get used to your hacksaw blade on how firm to press it. If you don't, if you just tinkle it round, we can see we'll have problems later on. We said the back sides are the ones that we're going to struggle with the most, making sure that we get a nice firm cut. In the Knife, take off the outside PVC sheathing. Okay, sometimes comes off in one, comes off in sections. Depends on the sharpness of the knife. There's one. We'll take them a few at a time, take off the steel and hopefully just take them and break them off. Took them off relatively easy if we've gone deep enough. So when we don't go deep enough that they come more resistive to being broken off. A few more. It's always one. Couple of gentle, and it's broken away. Next, don't want them all over the floor. We have to pick them up later on. Just take one of them, twist it up. Let's clear that out of the way. The problem now is for college purposes for circular because we've gone one way and then the other. The armoring's pulled one way; it's pulled the other. They all tend to change actual lengths when you look at them. If they're reasonably round at the top, we'll go with that. Short length of cable been moved from one side to the other. They tend to pull up and pull down. Next, on goes steel armor gland nut, making sure we get it so the threads are pointing upwards. So we go on and the threads are in the up position. Next, we're going to facilitate the gland body. We've got the thimble part here, is the part that's going to pinch against the steel armor itself to make a good electrical connection. So what we've got to do is now use our knife to take off a part of the PVC outside sheathing that will not be exposed when the shroud gets pushed back into position. So example being, I won't want to take that much off because when I push the shroud up, you'd see the steel arm itself. And I don't want to take off 10 mil, say, and then find it very difficult to get the gland body to meet. So probably 25 mil to 30 mil would be fine. Knife press press nice and firm this time. You're not going to cut through with your knife through the steel arm. So nice and firm all the way around. and take our clan body next. This bit uh, allegedly make look easy, and it isn't. You'll go away and this is bit you'll find reasonably difficult. Thimble side down, what I'm gonna do is gonna wind this open and just drop it inside. So we're gonna pinch the inner thimble part, it's gonna be on the inside of the steel armoured, and the nut's gonna be on the outside. So one just quick wind, you don't do it firm enough, you tend to just, just roll it round and it doesn't spray open. So nice and firm. Hold the cable. Hold the gland, hands are reasonably close together, you are not miles apart, and I'm going to go roll it, drop it in. So now we've got it, so all the steel armor is on the outside, and the gland's on the inside. We're only going to pin against that thimbled part, not the threads. Okay. 
to make it slightly easier, what I tend to do is not have it fully inserted, which is that position there, with the arm rings right up against the end of the thimble where the thread start. I tend to pull it back slightly, so I'm three quarters of the way in. So I'm three quarters of the way in, and not fully inserted. Okay. So from that position, I'll bring the two together, just slightly off of fully inserted. I get the threads to start with my fingers, and then I push it back down. So now I'm fully in. Now I can tighten it off with my hands with that fully locked into position. Before I do anything else, I now to check for college that none of those steel wire armors have gone underneath and none are crossed over. Real well, we wouldn't want any to be missed because that's part of the protective conductor. One crossed over on site, you're probably going to ignore it, aren't you? Not a college, got to check that none of those have been crossed over. So as we look at it, any crossed over, any missing, in other words, got underneath the gland, there isn't. Before we tighten it off, because we could loosen it back off if we had to, couldn't we? And then remake that gland off itself. You can put it in the vise, you wouldn't do that in the real world, this is purely for demonstration, so I can stand around so you can see it. And put it in the vise just to, to just tighten it off. You'd usually do it over your knee, similar to the way that I, I was cutting it, we'd be obviously using our spanners in that position. Taking my spanners now, I need one on the nut, one on the gland body, and I'm going to tighten the nut up. So to keep the gland body still, and tighten the nut up itself. So you've got a super duper firm electrical connection. So that's nice and tight. And then I'm going to take off the remaining PVC insulation to expose the conductors themselves. This time, be careful with the knife that we don't dig in now to the conductors, and we don't want to be right down close to the body itself. The body itself will be connected, connected to the CPC. If I nick the conductor, and we're close down here, it can rub against the body and cause a fault to earth. So I'm going to come up about 10 to 15 mil, gently score around with my knife, and then depending on the material, just break it open like when we did flexes early on in the course, just to pop open those conductors, and then hopefully when I just pull it and twist, I'm twisting, I'm twisting at the same time, just pull it off. And there we go. Close our three conductors, and as discussed earlier, we can then identify them accordingly in steel or armor gland. Okay, thanks.